Good day everyone! Welcome again in our Music, Arts, Physical Education and Health. This is the third quarter, week one. Before we start, I would like to congratulate everyone because you were able to survive the first two quarter of this school year, even though we are in pandemic. Keep it up! For us to start our lesson this week, in music education, our lesson is all about the music of Central, Southern, and Western Asia. Through this lesson, you will discover the traditional music of selected countries of Central, West, and South Asia through their vocal and instrumental music. India is the inheritor of one of the oldest and most evolved music system in the world. The study of Indian music begins with the religious and philosophical beliefs of its culture. The development of Indian music emerged from the religious chants called Vedas. Vocal music is the most important and ancient musical tradition in India. And it is a medium of communication with God. The two main traditions of classical Indian music are Carnatic music, and the Hindustanic music. As you can heard in the song Hymn to Shiva. There are two characteristics of traditional Indian music. First is the Carnatic music. It refers to the music from South India, directed to a Hindu god, which is why it is called temple music. Music pieces are mainly set for the voice and with lyrics. Compositions called are devotional songs. Carnatic music is unified where schools are based on the same ragas, same solo instrument like bina, flute, and the violin, same rhythm instrument. The other characteristic of traditional Indian music is the Hindustani music. Goes back to the Vedic period times around 1000 BC further developed in the 13th and 14th centuries AD with Persian influences and from existing religious and folk music, predominantly found in the northern and central regions. Hindustani music is also influenced by ancient Hindu musical traditions, historical Vedic religion or Vedic philosophy, native Indian sounds and enriched by the Persian performance practices of the Mughal area. Nasal singing is observed in their vocal music. Now, let's talk about the instrumental music. Instrumental music of India, we have the Hindustani Sangeet and the Carnatic Sangeet. The Hindustanic Sangeet instruments used in North Indian music, while the Carnatic Sangeet instrument used in South Indian music. As this is the classification of Indian musical instruments. First classification is Gan. It is described as a non-membranous percussive instrument but with solid resonators. It is one of the oldest classes of instrument in India and may also be a melodic instrument or instrument to keep tal. The following are the examples of instruments in the classification of Gan. Another classification of Indian musical instrument is the Abanad. It is described as a membranous percussive instrument, typically comprised the drums. The following are the example of Abanad instrument. Next classification is the Sushir. It is also known as blown air. It is characterized by the use of air to excite the various resonators. And here are some of the examples of Sushir. The fourth classification of Indian musical instrument is the Tat. This is referred to as Bina during the old civilization. Instruments in this class are flock or also known as stringed instruments. So here are some of the examples of Tat or instrument under the classification of tap. The last classification of Indian musical instrument is bitat. It is described as bowed string instrument. 
It is the oldest classification of instrument and yet did not occupy a place in classical Indian music until the last few century. So here are some of the examples of Bitan. Now let's talk about the music of Israel. There are two divisions of Jewish music, the devotional, which is almost entirely vocal, featured during Sabbath and another or other holy days, the art of Hazan, which is also known as the leader of prayer in synagogue, has always been evident in the culture. So far is a special call to prayer and repentance. It is sounded on the high holidays. Another division of Jewish music is the secular. Instruments and voice are used, played during life passage events, context lies outside the religious domain, and very rhythmic and have popular and romantic texts. Zoom Gali Gali is one of the folk songs in Israel. Now, let's talk about the music activity for this week. Your first activity you have to lend or entitled Lend Me Your Ears. What you have to do is to listen to some songs from Central, East, and West Asia using the YouTube link. So, in the first song will be the Hymn to Sheba, and then for the India, and the other song is Zumgali Gali from Israel. So, you have to search it on the YouTube, and then after watching it, you will do the second activity wherein what you have to do is to fill in the table below by answering the questions related to each is Asian songs. So you have to answer the question what feeling is being expressed in the song, how was the song performed, and what do you think is the function or the message of the song. So meaning class, in music activity, there will be only one uh, activity na sasagutan, which is the activity 2. Because in activity 1, you will just listen on the songs of Him to Shiba and the Zoom Gali Gali. Okay? Now, let's proceed. In the arts education. In the arts of Central, Southern, and Eastern Asia. In Central, West, and South Asia, the different periods of Indian art have showed the significant in evolution of arts and crafts. They are wonderful examples of architects, sculpture, painting events, and crafts reflects the age of all tradition of each country. Diwali Diwali is celebrated by Hindus in India and all around the world in October or November. It is the Hindu New Year and is either a three-day or a five-day holiday depending on where you come or where you came from. It is a very exciting and colorful holiday where homes are cleaned to welcome the New Year and windows are opened so that the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi, can enter. Hindu believe that she cannot enter the house which is not lit, lit up. So every household burns special Diwali clay lamps which is called Diyas. So light the way for the goddess which is why the holiday is also known as the festival of lights. The Rangoli Rangoli is one of the most beautiful and most pleasing art form of India. It is comprised of two words, rang meaning color, and avali meaning colored creepers or row of colors. Rangoli, the art of making designs or patterns on the walls or the floor of the house using finely ground white powder along with different colors. Next is the truck art in Pakistan. One of the most known arts of Pakistan is called the truck art. Truck art are not only used for the objects, delivery, purposes, but in South Asian region which include Afghanistan and Pakistan. Trucks are being decorated with bright paints, mirrors, bells, chains, motifs of birds, flowers, famous personalities, animals, and fish. Glittery sheets, stickers, battery-operated lights, some bells, jangling change, and beadwork or woodwork. Now, let's talk about our art activity for this week. The direction is, below are examples of artworks from East Asia. 
you have to write the distinctive elements and principle of arts used in the following artworks. Write your answer on the table below. So you have to look for the lines, shape, colors, texture, value, form, and space for the elements of the arts and the movement, balance, variety, emphasis, proportion, unity, and harmony for the principles of art. You have to answer this on a piece of paper, take a picture, and send it on the messenger. Now, let's talk about our topic in physical education, which is basketball. Basketball allows players to show high levels of speed, strength, power, and versatility, and replicate their efforts throughout the game over and over again. Mastering those skills in sports would be a factor in how good your court performance is. Even though you don't have to master every single ability, having a working ability of each skill set will make for a very, very, a very well-rounded game. Naturally, learning a few of these skills can boost your game as most basic skills are linked to each other. Shooting, passing, dribbling, and footwork are the fundamental skills a player should focus at first and all of these skills will be easy to master to those who are physically fit. Muscular and cardiovascular endurance are the components of the category of health-related physical fitness that is much required to enhance basketball performance. For our physical education activity for this week, what you have to do is to do the following activities. First, you have to do the side shuffle as your warm-up exercise, jog in place, lunge, walk with twists, the butt kicks, and the high kicks. Then after that, you will also do the planking and the burpees in one video presentation that will last from three or two to three minutes record the video and then send it in the messenger account of your nappy teacher now Let's talk about our topic in health education, which is the stages of infection, causes of morbidity and morality. First, let us define what is a disease. It is an illness that affects the proper functioning of the body or mind. We have two types of disease. We have the communicable diseases, which is passed from one person to another person or by an agent, an example of this is the most sensational virus right now that can cause the COVID-19 disease. And the other type of disease is the non-communicable disease, which is not spread from person to person but by how people live, environmental hazards, and heredity. This is an illustration of the stages of disease. So from incubation, going to prodomal, an invasive phase, the acne or the decline phase, going to decline phase, and the convalescence period. Now, let's talk about the stages of infection. First is the incubation period. It is the stage wherein the organism growing and multiply. It is the time wherein an organism enters your body. Next is the prodomal stage. It is the, where it is when the person is most infectious, big and non-specific signs of disease. The full stage of illness were in the presence of specific signs and symptoms of disease. And the last is the convalescence period, which is also known as the recovery from the infection. That will be our lesson discussion for this week. Now, here are some reminders. Paalala lamang na ang pamamaraan ng ating pagpapasa ng answer sheet online ay katulad pa rin ng ating pamamaraan ng pagpapasa noong ikalawang markahan or second grading. Magsusulat kayo ng inyong sagot sa answer sheet, pipicturan at isisend sa school account messenger ng inyong MAPI teacher. Maaari pa rin kayong magpasa ng inyong mga answer sheet sa ating paaralan. Siguraduhin lamang na nakasulat ang inyong pangalan, grade and section, pangalan ng inyong MAPI teacher, anong week ng answer sheet na ito, at ano ang subject. 
Ayun lamang sa linggong ito. That will be all. Goodbye and God bless.